Hi, my name is Steve Marks, and today I'd like to help answer the question, what is Windows Azure? To understand what Windows Azure is, let's first talk about what it takes to run an application out on the Internet. There's a lot to think about. We need to think about the operating system we're going to use and how to keep that patched and up to date. We need to think about the network, load balancers, routers, DNS, and how those will interact with our system. We need to think about the storage needs for our application and how to manage all of that data. And we need to think about scale. How are we going to scale to our many users who are geographically distributed? I'd like to point out two things about this list we just made. One is that everyone has to deal with it, no matter what they're building. It's not just you. The other is that none of this had anything to do with what we wanted to build, our application. Well, what if there was a different way? What if there was something that would take care of all those other things for us? All of the operating system, the networking, the storage, the scale, and let us worry about that one thing we cared about, our application. Well, with something like that, we could build our application faster and we could keep our users happy. This is the idea behind Windows Azure. Windows Azure is Microsoft's cloud computing platform. That means that it's designed to be a place to run your application at scale out on the Internet. But it's so much more. Windows Azure takes an application-centric view of cloud computing. And that means that we manage the entire life cycle of your application. From that initial design, development, and testing of your application, to deploying to the cloud with a touch of a button, to monitoring and scaling that application when it's running out on the Internet. Finally, we help you to understand your application and analyze it so that you can build a better version and deploy that to the cloud without incurring any downtime. Windows Azure consists of three main components. The first is something called the fabric. The fabric is the abstract set of compute resources in the data center. Inside are many computers running virtual machines running Windows. The second component is the storage service. The storage service is there to help your application manage all of its data in a reliable and scalable way. The third component is the developer experience. We package all of this, the fabric, the storage, all of the APIs in the cloud. We add some integration with Visual Studio, and we deliver it to you in the form of an SDK that you can download for free and run on your desktop. This means you can develop and test your application locally before you deploy to the cloud. Let's finish up by talking about scale. If you're like most application owners, you're hoping that your application scales like this. Notice that this is your peak. If you had to pay upfront for the resources you were going to use at the peak, you would be wasting all of this. In Windows Azure, we took a different approach. And this model should be familiar to you because you use it each and every day when you turn on the lights in your house. The electricity going to your home is a utility. And a utility means that you pay for it only when you use it. When you turn on the electricity, you start paying. And as soon as you turn it off, you stop. If we apply that same notion to the computing resources in our data centers, we arrive at the Windows Azure model a utility model where you pay for only what you need and only when you use it. With that model, you can stop worrying about where your peak is, you can stop paying for things up front, and you can save a lot of money. I hope that this has given you a better understanding of what Windows Azure is and what it can do for you. If you'd like to learn more, I'd encourage you to visit dev.windowsazure.com. There you'll find a lot of resources that will help you get started, including more videos to watch, documentation, and of course that downloadable SDK. Thanks.